Grace Missionary Church. Ma'am, can you please tell us your name, tell us where you come from, and also tell us the problem, obstacles, challenges that you were coming across in your life that made you to come here today? Okay. My name is Beatrice. Um, I'm from Tanzania. And uh, the problem brought me here is like I wanted a total de deliverance for my life. And uh, because of uh, things I've been seeing at night, uh, that's the, th the dream. I always dream bad dreams. That the things I was thinking like uh, I need a deliverance. So when I meet Apostle, uh, he prophesied for me, and uh, the things he talked to about me it was true, really true. And uh, the most things he was talking about our ministry because my husband is a pastor. So he was saying we are facing challenges because of our ministry. So we need to be patient to God. Uh, once you are in ministry, the, br the problems come. So you need to be strong to God so that God can take you from one place to another. Amen. And uh, by the time when you were with the man of God, how was the experience sitting with him one on one on one session? <laughs> the apostle is so good so good he's very humble he's very friendly he's like a father and uh, i was very freely to talk to him like my father even talk to him the deep things i cannot even talk to anybody but to him i was very friendly and he's very anointed very very anointed with all these obstacles, especially nightmares, I believe they would affect you even during the day. How did they affect you spiritually, physically, while you're knowing that you're doing everything that needed to be done as a Christian, but still you're haunted by these spirits? How did they affect you? Oh, okay. This spirit, uh, this stubborn one, if you dream like uh, seeing dead relatives, you dream going back to a village, that means that is a setback. You are not going forward. You are working hard, but you don't see the the outcome of what you are working for. So, uh, for me, I thought like I need deliverance, and the person who will help me is Apostle Makalanisa, because I've seen him in YouTube, Facebook, delivering people. Then I said, why not me? I have to go there, and truly, I got it. Deliverance, total one, I got it, deep one. At that particular moment when they were praying for you, how did you feel in your body?
What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Jesus Christ.
Jesus Christ. You feel yourself like you're in somewhere else because that anointing, when it falls from your top of your head to the sole of your feet, my friend, <laughs> you feel like you're, you, I don't know, you feel something different. The anointing falls and when God comes, everything surrender. All demons surrender. So you feel like yourself, you're free. Like mine, even now, I'm saying, why I, should, why I didn't come here? those days and come here today and uh, it's very good to get a deliverance and I believe I'm total delivered. We give glory to Jesus for life as I believe that the almighty God has done it for you. I believe that you're in a right position to encourage somebody out there who's delaying to get his or her deliverance. What can you say to them? Yeah, what I can say to the viewers is everyone, every believer, every Christian whether you are a believer or you are not a believer, you need deliverance. You cannot be connected to God if you are not delivered. God is a whole and your body needs to be holy. Your soul, your spirit need to be whole. So you don't need any interference between you and God. So we, all of us, we need deliverance. Anyone, pastors, bishops, anyone. You, especially pastors, they need deliverance because they are doing God of work, God of work, eh? and uh, they got attacks. And those attacks, you need someone who is very anointed to help you. So, as a, a woman of God, I just came here to get delivered. Yes. <laughs>